सो हाई डियर एरीज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जनरल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द एरीज सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम टूडे टिल द एंड ऑफ मे इट्स अ मिड मे रीडिंग एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टैप इन टूर पास प्रेजेंट एंड नियर फ्यूचर एनर्जी एंड वी विल सी वट इज द गाइडेंस दिस इज नॉट अ लव रीडिंग बट वट एवर विल कम बाई आई विल जस्ट लेट यू गाइज नो सो लेट सी ओके ओवरऑल एनर्जी फॉर यू पीपल फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ मे for the rest of the month of may overall energy for you people it is is a king of wands so you will be in this energy of i have to do something very very uh, i have to take some kind of action regarding something that i'm really passionate about okay you are in this energy of i am i am going to be the doer now i'm not not going to sit on my ass and think about things and uh, uh, just uh, you know planning and plotting and doing nothing about it so you will be in this energy of taking certain kind of action regarding things that you really want to do in your life this is going to be your overall energy in this uh, remaining days of uh, may okay let's see what was happening in the recent past i will clarify uh, all the cards one by one but uh, let me pull all the cards at once right now in the recent past you were coming out of a very painful cycle of your life and you were looking forward towards a peaceful uh, future towards a better future okay now in the current energy is five of pentacles you are feeling some kind of left out or lonely or you are feeling like you are having you are going through some kind of financial losses no matter how hard you are trying to make your finances work out in your favor th things are not working out that kind of energy i'm picking for you in the current uh, scenario by the end of may we do have page of swords lots of knowledge lots of strength lots of uh, you know you will be like a research scholar you you will be like a student and you are going to gain a lot of knowledge uh, it could be regarding spirituality it could be regarding a uh, thing that you are really interested in we will see about it or you might be stalking something or some someone or something right because you want it <laughs> now let's clarify let's clarify the recent past energy we had the six of swords coming out of a painful cycle eight of uh, wands in reverse hermit and uh, here hermit in reverse and the temperance card so you were being very very impatient about uh, you know uh, having some kind of uh, a solution to a problem that you you were facing from a very long time miscommunications um no communication at all with someone or so, or you, something was very very unclear to you and you were trying your best to figure out a way to communicate properly with people around you to get out of this misunderstandings to get out of this miscommunication you were kind of losing patience in the situation whatever situation you were dealing in it could be possible that people around you were taking you seriously wrong no matter what you were trying to do people were misunderstanding you anyway and that is why you were not able to keep yourself calm but this situation forced you to keep yourself patient and uh, you know uh, let go of the situation let go of the people let go of the misunderstandings so in the recent past you were trying out uh, trying to come out of a very very uh, uh, uncomfortable kind of situation where everything was very very messy and you were trying your best to come out of the situation come out of this miscommunication misunderstandings and be patient but uh, you were not able to do that i think you tried but i think uh, you were not able to do that completely so uh, you were losing your temper on and off and uh, simultaneously trying to be patient and coming out of that this is what you were doing in the recent past it could be related to your work life or relationship life or family life take it how uh, however it resonates with you because these are energies and it can this uh, the reason can be anything but these were the energies present in the recent past for you now in the current situation you are having some kind you are going through some kind of losses it could be financial losses it could be uh, just a feeling of lost just of just a feeling of okay i'm lost uh, i don't know which direction i'm going in my life i don't know what is happening with me i don't know suddenly everything is seemingly challenging for me let's clarify the five of pentacles we got the ace of wands ten of swords in reverse and the ten of cups so right now what you are trying to do is aries you are trying your best to have a brand new beginning uh, uh, beginning in your uh, life especially in your uh, uh, work area in your job area in your uh, in your career you are like in this energy of okay i have to be very passionate about money i have to be very passionate about my work 
whatever happened happened in the past you are learning the lessons from whatever happened in the past with you you got betrayed by something or someone you got uh, cheated upon and you are not uh, taking it very very uh, lightly you are instead taking it very much seriously and you are learning from uh, those specific lessons and you are trying your best to start or uh, the chapter of your life all over again and find the balance find this happily ever after kind of energy within yourself you are uh, okay whenever we go through a uh, lots of challenges aries whenever life start uh, start throwing a lot of challenges on us we always have to understand that this is a uh, this is how we grow in our life you are growing in your life and that is why the universe is uh, th throwing challenges over challenges on you so that you can understand that whatever is happening you need to be patient you need to understand that whatever is happening with you is happening uh, for a reason and you you have to find out the reason with yourself on you human level and you have to work on this aspect on a spiritual level i hope i am i am able to make you understand whatever problems we face as a human in this uh, 3d world this is actually uh, leading us to the realm of the spirituality real realm of our higher self meeting our higher self is the uh, uh, is the goal of our life if somebody asks me what is the goal of my life what is my life purpose meeting your higher self connecting with the divine and surrendering this is the life purposes of every human being because we go walk we got this body just for a specific time period right afterwards we have to be one with the divine anyway okay but if we our body mind and spirit is going to be aligned with the higher self right now in this physical realm also 3d realm also our life purpose is going to be very much easier for us and life is going to be very much blissful so we can create heaven on earth but we have to understand the lessons and then slowly but surely we have to reach the higher self it's very very challenging it's very painful it's drastically painful but once you get it you are going to live in bliss forever see i told you <laughs> so you will be researching a lot about all the things that's happening with you all the messy things that's forcing you to research about something uh, to uh, like uh, behave like a student to start from scratch okay so let's start the page of uh, let's uh, clarify the page of swords let's start the page of swords let's clarify the page of swords here <clears throat> this is really beautiful reading if you take it positively very very beautiful the tower the two of wands and the magician see you will be finally having this awakening in your life that waiting for something to manifest in your 3d world is never going to happen if you are not going to learn the exact process how to manifest you have to learn the exact process of manifestation and uh, the manifestation can work only when you are clear cut like clear cut what exactly you want in your life and what you don't want in your life we often focus on what we don't have in our life okay we live in lack that is why the universe keeps on throwing lack on lack on lack if we are going to live in this energy of okay we already have everything that we want in our life universe is going to throw lots of abundance lots of prosperity lots of love everything will come to you naturally you just have to learn the art of manifestation it's very easy it seems the, the the easiest things seem very very tough to us because we are not used to easy things right so manifestation is really very easy for me it has become easier now i'm not saying that i can manifest like that but yes i can manifest within one two months or sometimes it's a uh, three months divine timing is different but i have started living in this abundance and prosperity mindset so i am attracting those kind of energies towards me and i'm so lucky i am so blessed that i am learning this art and now i'm the on the way of <laughs> um coming out of this uh, uh not able to manifest kind of thing because i'm learning it and uh, i feel like i can help you guys some day like i will make courses or i will take a workshops or something like this but definitely you will uh, you can make this work out so you will be learning a lot of lessons learning a lot of skills relating to law of attractions or manifestation or spirituality this is what you are going to do by the end of this month this is really fantastic i love this reading today i claim this reading for myself also also so the spiritual awakening some kind of awakening of okay i i should not i i cannot wait forever to uh, this for, for manifestation to work out for me let me learn the right process this is what you are going to do some people are going to going to do it consciously some people are going to do it unconsciously the beauty of this thing is even if you don't know it that you are trying to do it you are actually doing it okay because uh, this is how the universe works 
So rude awakenings, the tower moments, the painful energies, the breakthroughs that we go through, they are always there to teach us how to manifest exactly, how to connect with the higher self so that you can uh, get whatever you desire, whatever you hope for in your life. There's nothing that you cannot manifest in your life, nothing or not, nothing. But uh, you, you should know the proper way and the proper way is to stay consistent and persistent that no matter what, this thing is mine or this situation is mine. Or I already have this thing in my life. I am not living in lack or I am not. You just have to imprint. Uh, you just have to imprint it in your subconscious mind. And subconscious mind is always going to be imprinted only with love and consistency. Subconscious mind is like the female mind. It always works with the love and care only. If you are going to do something possibly with a female. Yeah, with anybody they are going to retaliate. But with a female especially, if you are going to do something forcibly, she is not going to take it positively she is always going to give you something negative always going to give you some trouble always going to throw some kind of you know negative energies towards you because she herself is hurt she herself is not uh, liking it so uh, same is our subconscious mind we have to treat is uh, treat it as a, a female kid a female kid uh, like who is lovely very lovely very very caring and all she needs is proper love and proper care to flourish hmm? this is how it works so let's see what is the guidance here feminine energy it's not about gender it's about the energies feminine energies i hope someday i can give you a lecture about manifestation and uh, i'm just uh, in the learning process so i will definitely teach you guys that it's very easy but uh, it's very uh, difficult to follow it's easy but difficult to follow the guidance for you is okay keep walking on on the path whatever you are to, trying to do if some kind of confusion is striking you from time to time it is completely okay whenever we are on an unknown path in our life we always get confused we always get lost in our in, in our things i don't know where am i going i don't know my where my life is going i am directionless i am hopeless i'm this i'm that it's a it is a sign actually that you are on the right track because when we enter into unknown territory, we don't understand what, what we are like doing or what, what, uh, what is happening with us. So if you are doing some kind of shadow work or spiritual work or healing yourself or meditation or any kind of spiritual related work if you are doing, please don't stop that because, if, because you are fearing what might happen next. Okay? If you are not doing it, start doing it because I do see a major breakthrough coming in uh, by the end of this month. So when we talk about timings in the tarot, especially, just give me a second. It can happen after 15-20 days also because we don't have the timing in the divine timing. I have to put a limit on the time, like I have to put the date or time stamps uh, on the reading because we are humans and we need to understand like, okay, this is for from this time to this time. But it can happen like 15 days before also or 15-20 days after also. Okay, please keep that in mind. So, thank you so much for uh, Aries for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.